Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. The Caribbean Mermaids In the azure depths of the Caribbean, where the sun's rays danced upon coral reefs and the sea held tales of shipwrecks and forgotten treasures, the crew of the Voyager sought adventure and discovery. Led by Captain Elias Reed, a seasoned mariner with a love for the mysteries of the ocean, they charted a course through waters whispered to be haunted by sirens of the deep, mermaids. Dismissive of old sailors' tales, the crew laughed and joked about the mermaids, imagining them as benevolent beings of folklore, their songs a welcome melody in the vast loneliness of the sea. But as the Voyager sailed into a region marked on ancient maps with warnings and symbols of dread, the mood shifted. A fog descended, thick and impenetrable, muffling sound and blurring the line between sea and sky. It was in this eerie silence that they first heard it, a voice, hauntingly beautiful, rising from the depths, its melody weaving through the fog with an ethereal grace. One by one, the crew found themselves drawn to the railings, peering into the misty waters, entranced by the song that promised desires fulfilled and dreams realized. Captain Reed, wary of the sudden change in his crew, recognized the danger too late. Figures emerged from the water, their skin glistening like pearls, their eyes deep and mesmerizing pools of the darkest oceans. The mermaids, far from the benevolent creatures of legend, revealed their true nature as predators of the sea, their songs not of welcome, but of doom. The crew, ensnared by the mermaid's spell, began to leap overboard, compelled by the irresistible allure of the song. Captain Reed, struggling against the enchantment, managed to secure himself to the mast, his resolve the only thing standing between him and the abyss. As he fought to maintain his grip on reality, the mermaids surrounded the Voyager, their songs growing louder, more insistent. Their beauty belied their ferocity, their smiles revealing sharp, predatory teeth. They climbed aboard the vessel, their movements fluid and deadly, intent on claiming the souls of those who dared intrude upon their domain. Captain Reed, watching in horror as his crew succumbed to the siren's call, knew he must find a way to break their spell or join his men in a watery grave. But as the mermaids advanced, their eyes fixed upon him with a hunger born of the deep, he realized that the song, while lethal in its lure, held the key to their salvation. Amidst his struggle, Captain Reed recalled an old seafarer's tale, a forgotten piece of lore about combating the mermaid's enchantment with a melody of pure human spirit, a song of resilience and defiance against the call of the deep. With his crew lost to the sea's embrace and the mermaids closing in, Reed drew a deep breath and began to sing. His voice, rough and untrained, carried a simple tune, a sailor's chanty that spoke of storms weathered, of homes longed for, and of the indomitable will to survive. The effect was immediate and startling. The mermaids faltered, their enchanting harmony disrupted by the raw, unvarnished quality of Reed's song. Confusion marred their ethereal faces as the spell that had ensnared the crew began to unravel, the power of the human spirit clashing with the magic of the deep. Encouraged, Reed sang louder, pouring every ounce of his longing, fear, and determination into the notes. The mermaids, their song now a discordant echo of its former glory, retreated back into the embrace of the waves, their hold on the Voyager broken. As the last of the sirens, disappeared beneath the surface, the fog lifted, revealing the sun breaking through the clouds, its light banishing the remnants of the dark enchantment. The crew, released from the spell, were found clinging to debris in the water, disoriented but alive. Captain Reed, his voice hoarse but triumphant, led the effort to rescue his men, the ship silent, but for the sounds of recovery and the gentle lapping of the waves against the hull. As they set sail once more, the encounter with the mermaids became a testament to their resilience, a story to be passed down as a warning and a lesson in the power of humanity's spirit. But the greatest surprise awaited them upon their return to port. Among the belongings of a crew member who had traded with a locale on their last shore leave was an ancient flute carved from coral and adorned with symbols that matched those on the ancient maps. 
The realization dawned on them that their salvation had not been merely by chance. The flute, now recognized as an artifact of protection against the mermaid's song, had been with them all along, its silent presence, a guardian against the call of the deep. The voyager's journey had begun in search of adventure and discovery, but it ended with the profound understanding that some legends, especially those born of the sea, held truths too deep and ancient to fathom fully. And as for the mermaids of the Caribbean, their haunting melody would forever echo in the hearts of those who had faced them and lived to tell the tale, a reminder of the mysterious bond between the sea and the soul. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions. And while you're here, go ahead and listen to the next terrifying story on your screen.